right, uh, we're back for shared reading day three. We're gonna warm up quick with some making words activities. So Mrs. Chris grabbed a erase marker and my whiteboard. You should grab a piece of paper and something to write with, okay? Remember, if you need more time, you can always click pause on the video to do some work at, at home and then click play to hear the rest of the lesson, okay? All right, so I want you to write the word bat for Mrs. Quist. Like I hit the baseball with my bat. What do you hear first? Ba, ba, ba. Mrs. Quist? Good job. Can you underline the vowel? Can you say the sound with me? Ah, ah, ah. Good job. This time I want you to write the word bit. Like a mosquito bit my arm. Bit. Did you write bit just like Mrs. Quist? Can you underline the vowel? What vowel is that? I, what sound does I make? Eh, eh, eh. Good job. You notice the word bat and bit? They look very similar. Can you tell what's different? The vowel. Bat has an A and bit has an I. Good job. All right, our next word is big. Can you write the word big? You can say Jackson School is very big. Big. B. I. G. Did you write big just like Mrs. Quist? Awesome. Can you underline the vowel? I, I, I. Good job. It's another I. Remember, every word in the whole entire world needs to have at least one vowel in it. So when you're stretching out your words and saying all the sounds, Make sure you always have at least one vowel in there, okay? What do you notice? This, this word also looks similar to bit. Bit and big. What's different? The ending sound. Big ends with a G. G, G, G. All right, I've got two more words for you. The next word is jig. This is a, a fancy word for a dance. Do a little jig. J, J, J. I, g, jig. Your word jig look like mine? Can you underline the vowel? I, I, I. Good job. All right, I want you to change one letter in that word and I want you to make it say jog. I hope you can jog outside today. Jog. 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 Does yours look like mine? And let's underline that vowel. What sound does the vowel say? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good job. What's, what do you notice that's different about jig and jog? Because they sure look close, same or similar to me. They both start with J. They both end with G. What's different? The vowel. Good thing we're working on our vowel sounds because you heard that they were two different vowels. Jig has an I in the middle and jog has an O in the middle. Good job. All right, you can scooch your paper and pencil to the side. Get your scooch close. Get your listening ears ready to go. I hope today you can help me read some of the words in our book, Smash Crash we can share in the reading together, okay? Smash Crash by Catherine Friend. Something old. Look at these old buildings. It's time to take them down. What does this sign say? Danger, keep out. Some old buildings are not safe, so workers need to take them down. Do you remember yesterday what these fancy Boxes are called with expert words. A sidebar. Good job remembering. A big claw. This claw is like a big hand. It can grab the roof and walls. 
Then they all fall down. Bang, cling, crash. Some claws can work like big scissors to cut parts of buildings. A wrecking ball. This ball is very big. It can swing into the walls. Read it with me. Then they all fall down. Smash, crash, smash. A wrecking ball can be as heavy as three small cars. A jackhammer. This is like a big hammer. It can bang into floors. Then they all fall down? No. Apart. You gotta check that beginning sound. Good self monitoring. Rat a tap tap tap. Rat a tap tap tap. Rat a tap tap tap. Jackhammers are very loud, so workers must protect their ears. They also need to protect their heads, right? In case any of that cement flies up, you don't want it to knock them in the head. Dynamite. This stuff can blow up old walls and floors. Then they all fall down. Boom, boom, crash. Workers use dynamite to very carefully blow up the parts of an old building. To make sure that the space is clear so nobody's close by to get hurt. Like if they put a fence up to keep people out. Clean up. Now it's time to clean up. A bulldozer can make a big pile. Then a truck takes it away. Rumble crunch room. Rubble dump truck. The broken pieces of a building are called rubble. Something new. The space is ready. It's time to put up something new. Clank, bang, clang. Signs can tell us when workers are building something new. Under construction. Look, it's a new playground. Yay! All right, good job. Mrs. Quist has a question for you. If you were a worker, which tool or machine would you like to use? Quick, turn and tell someone in your house. What machine or tool would you like to use if you were a construction worker in this book? I think if I were a construction worker, I'd want to try dynamite because I think this looks so cool. How they blew the building up and it just crumbled down. That's so cool. All right, really quick, we're going to um, talk about opposites. Um, opposites are things like um, on and off, right? So I do, I turn the lights on and then I turn them off. That's the opposite. Okay, so in my book on page two, I have the word old. Old. What's the opposite of old? All right, let's make a T chart. Old. What's the opposite of old? New. Good job. Um, on page two, I also have the word up. Mm, not on this page. This quiz has the wrong page number. Hmm, I don't see it, but let's add it to our list. What's the opposite of up? If I'm going up the stairs, what is the opposite? I go down the stairs. Down. Good job. Let's see if this one's in here. Page four. Oh, I spy it. My word is big. Write that on a chart. What's the opposite of big? A semi truck is big. And a bicycle is small. These things are opposite, right? The next, we have two more. My next word is on page seven. Hmm. Oh, word is down here, heavy. Heavy, that wrecking ball is so heavy. A wrecking ball is heavy and a feather is light, right? It doesn't weigh very much at all. 
Awesome. And our last one is on page nine. My word is loud. The jackhammer is so loud, right? It hurts your ears. You have to wear earplugs. What's the opposite of being loud? Do this in the library. We're quiet. Good job. Maybe you can find some opposites at your house today, right? Hmm, what's the opposite of brother? What's the opposite of tall? And what's the opposite of dirty? I want you to go around your house and see if you can find the answer to those three questions, okay? Thanks for working with Mrs. Quist.